what does this high count of cedar mean for allergy sufferers? KVU's Tina Shively along 360 Northwest Austin, where you can find a lot of cedar trees. Tina? Absolutely, Albert. And 90% of all allergy sufferers here in Austin are allergic to cedar. And I'm going to give you an up close look at why. It's all to blame on these little brown cones you see on these trees. All male trees have these little cones. You can see them all along the branches here. The cones will explode, and then the tree will look like it's on fire. So much white pollen gets released into the air, it resembles smoke. As Albert mentioned, the weather conditions have to be just right like they are today. Cool, dry air behind a cold front. It sets off pollination from Waco to San Antonio all up and down the I-35 corridor. Now, sufferers will get itchy, watery eyes, running noses, coughing and congestion all over lethargy. But there is good news. Allergists say there are some medications that can help. The general treatment for allergy is to avoid the pollen, which is impossible. So most people take antihistamine pills, and on top of that, they can take antihistamine eye drops, cortisone nasal sprays, which are prescription, decongestants like Sudafed, and if symptoms get very severe, some people need to take steroids in injection or pills. And Dr. Helen says allergy shots can also help cut way back on allergies. If you're a cedar sufferer, the best time to get those shots is in the late spring. And when it comes to the time of year for the first big cedar explosion of the season, we are right on point, maybe a few days late. Trees usually pollinate sometime between Christmas and New Year's. Now, these little cones will likely cause problems for allergy sufferers for about the next 48 hours or so. The levels will then fade away and spike back up to high levels in the next few days, and it will last through likely mid-February. On 360, Tina Shively, KVU News Midday.